right of here is State Senator Karen McConney. Senator, uh, just some of your general thoughts on the governor's uh, budget address today. Well, the governor's budget address today was uh, indeed sobering. Uh, a lot of cuts coming our way, but in many ways very refreshing. This is the most responsible, honest presentation of a budget by any governor in my recent memory. Uh, you know, it took a long time to get into the mess, uh, financial mess that the state finds itself in. And now uh, we finally have a governor who has the courage. You've got to give this governor a lot of credit for the courage he's displaying. He's going to have to say no to a whole lot of people and a whole lot of entities to make the difference in the state to get it back on track. And going back to your district, um, you know, he mentioned some things. He mentioned a property tax freeze. Uh, what does that mean for your district? Well, you know, that was really, for me in my district, music to my ears. Uh, my, the folks in my district are in some of the highest property tax areas of the entire country. And we're taxing people right out of our homes. So the governor's commitment and recognition that that's a legitimate problem that we have to solve is very, very important to the, my constituency. The difficulty will be in how you go about doing that. And I look forward to working with the governor to, to, to really figure out a way to address property tax problems as well as any of the other problems that we're facing. And real quick, your thoughts on him uh, fully funding schools again uh, like it has not been done in the past. You know, again, um, I think he's got his priorities straight. Uh, what we should be doing in government is investing in our future, in our children, in our future, and providing the necessary services to build a stronger economy and create a qualified workforce, create jobs. That's what it's about, and I think he's got his priorities straight. Senator McConaughey, thank you so much. Great, thank you.